Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna go through my everyday makeup basket for February of 2019. I say this every month, but I can't believe it's already February. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, so I will actually be traveling this month. I'm going on a week-long business slash vacation trip. So you might see some of these products also pop up in the makeup bag that I take traveling with me video. Just so you know, I'm filming this before I actually pack all my makeup, so you might just see some duplicates from that video. I do have a full playlist of everyday makeup baskets for the last year and a couple of months, so if you do wanna check out all of those baskets, I'll throw that playlist up in the cards if you are interested. But let's go ahead and jump right in. So if you're new to my vanity setup, the very bottom drawer is where I keep all of my project pan. So right now I have a finish 8 or an 8 by Easter project in here, but there's one product that wouldn't fit <laughs> in my other drawer, so I had to put it in here. This is the Loose Powder from Fenty Beauty, and it's so reflective I can't even really, I'm going to show the side, I can't really show it. So I got the shade Butter. I really hate the packaging on this so much. It's so messy, it's really annoying, it's clunky, it doesn't fit in my drawers. So I'm really debating whether I'm going to quote unquote depot this and throw it in another container or if I'm going to return it because I've been seeing mixed results with it and I, I really hate the packaging. So other than that, I do have a smaller zoom set of drawers up here on the top. I keep all of my setting sprays up top there now. So now you see <laughs> those are all the setting sprays that I'm working on. Down here I keep all of my Bite Size Reviews products right there. These are all of my mascara empties that I'm going to be using in my massive mascara video. And then down here are all of the actual <laughs> makeup products. So if you haven't seen one of these in a while, I'll show you kind of how I organize everything. I keep all my primers in here, all of my concealers over here, mascaras and my mascara curler or eyelash curler are in here. I have anything related to brows, liner, you know, everything that's liquidy in here. These are all of my foundations and then these are the rest of my powder products. So let's start with the powder products. The first product I'm actually carrying over from last month is this highlighter from Morphe. This is the High Impact Highlighter in Spark. I've been panning a highlighter and so I actually haven't really gotten to using this a whole lot. So I really do want to test this out thoroughly. So I'm going to keep it in my basket and see if I can get to it sometime this month. This might be a product I bring with me on my trip just because of how nice and compact it is. In addition to that, I'm bringing out one of my favorite glow kits from ABH. This is the Sugar Glow Kit. My favorite shade in here is Starburst, this one on the bottom right. I love that shade to death, but I also really love Marshmallow. I love Marshmallow as an inner corner highlight. So since these are actually so easy to depot, I've debated whether or not to just put them in my Everyday Z palette, which I might do by the end of this month, but... I really just wanted to shake things up and bring out another highlighter palette that I really enjoy. For blush, of course, I have my ABH Blush Trio in Peachy Love that I have in my Nan... Nine, Jesus. That I have in my Nine Pan 19 Project Pan, so if you haven't seen that, I'll throw that playlist up in the cards. But I am working on panning this blush by the end of 2019, so it's gonna pretty much be in this basket for the rest of the year. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> The face powder that I'm going to be using this month is from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. I absolutely adore Hourglass face powders, but I think I was... I managed to somehow hit some hard pan right there. I think I went into this powder with a brush that still had some foundation on it. So I'm going to scrape off that little bit and just use the rest of the powder. I fully panned an entire powder of one of these. I did pan in uh, Diffused Light. Ethereal Light is lighter, Diffused Light is my normal skin tone powder, but in the middle of the winter, <laughs> I find myself being very pale, and this powder is actually working for me right now, so I'm going to be working on it now that I can actually use it. And last but certainly not least, I have the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, and this is in the shade Naturally Neutral. This container is huge, so what I did is I actually put 
the powder into my empty beauty bakery container so there's a little bit of powder left in there I've been refilling it ever since I used up this powder because this fits a lot better in my drawer than this gigantic Cody one does I really like this and I find that actually transferring the container helps a lot with the scent so if this is a powder that you like but you really don't like the scent try putting it in a different container because airing out just a little bit helps a lot so there we go for that drawer let's go to foundations the first foundation I have in here is the stick foundation from Milani this is the conceal and perfect foundation stick and I got the shade 215 creamy vanilla now I tried putting this on my face once and it was a disaster like oh my god I've never felt such like a plasticky feeling foundation before <laughs> So I'm gonna use this the next time I use this will be on camera I don't even know if I could actually wear this but um, it's gonna be in here until I can do a video on this as well as the concealers Which are also in my concealer drawer. We'll get to that in just a minute The next foundation that I have in here is from wet and wild This is the pump makeup locker three in one BB cream and I have the shade light medium now this is a little bit dark for me right now. I do think it's probably my closest match at the time. There's a BB cream down here in the bottom and then up top, if you pop this open, you get both a highlighter and a color corrector. So I've been testing this out for a bit and I actually think it might be a dupe for one of my favorite and most expensive foundations, the next one in my drawer. And that one is the Shantakai Future Skin Gel Foundation in the shade Alabaster. So I have both of these in my drawer because I've been alternating using them because I really do want to test and see if that Wet n Wild one can dupe this $80 foundation. The next foundation, of course, that I have is from Catrice. This is the HD Liquid Coverage in shade 030 Sand Beige. I don't think this has left my everyday makeup basket since I found it, quite honestly. Recently, I've been testing out different mixtures of this foundation because I love it so much. I want to see if I can mix in other kind of troublesome foundations with it. And the next foundation I have is one that I've been mixing with this one and love the mixture. And that foundation is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Yeah, I've had this for a, over a year and barely touched it because I realized I can't wear it on its own. It's too dry and full coverage. I've been looking for a good foundation to mix it in with because this is the definition of incredible full coverage, like more than full coverage, ultimate coverage. This will cover anything. It'll cover your crimes. It'll cover your shift at work. It'll cover songs on a ballad guitar. Like it'll cover anything, quite honestly. I have the shade 14 Ivory. I've been mixing this with the Catrice foundation and I love the results. So I'm very happy that I was actually able to find a foundation that I enjoy mixing this with. That being said, I hate this. I hate this container. Look at this. It gets so messy. You've got to like twist this thingy up. This is the messiest thing I've ever seen in my life. From here, let's jump up to primers. The first primer I have, of course, is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I did a full video testing this against the Tatcha, and this performed better. It did. I've been using this. I actually just hit pan on this. I'm very sad. I'm rationing this out a bit because after Jeffree Star's video, everyone purchased this and it sold out. Yeah, so uh, I will be using this. I'm going to start using just a little bit around my problem areas and using other primers in other areas because I don't want to run out of this when it's still sold out. The next primer I have in here is from Too Faced. This is the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. This is such a good moisturizing primer. I do think it's a bit pricey for the full size, but in the most dry times of the year, this really comes through. I also did use this when I had a hangover <laughs> and I did feel better. The last primer that I have in here is from Wet n Wild, and this is the Photo Focus Face Primer Dewy. I really wanted to test this out under different foundations to see if it would give me a more dewy look, because if you saw my full face of Wet n Wild video, this didn't gel well with their own foundation. On to concealers. The first concealer I have is from Fenty Beauty, and this is, what is it actually called? The Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I got the shade 150. I know you're supposed to match it to your foundation shade. My foundation shade was 160, 
but it wasn't a great match and I think 160 in the concealer looked a little too pink so I needed to get something neutral or yellow so I grabbed 150. I've been testing it out not impressed so far but I am going to thoroughly test this out. Next up in concealers, I have two minis of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, whatever it's called. I really just want to use these up. They're both practically empty. I need to just pop out the stoppers and actually like finish these up because they've been in my collection for far too long. I have the shades Light Vanilla and Medium Custard. Last for concealers, I have two of the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealers. I have shade 115 and shade 120. I can use both of them depending on what foundation I'm wearing that day and how dark or light it is. I'm still testing this out. I do want to throw this again in that video with the stick foundation once I'm done gathering my thoughts. Honestly, my brow drawer has barely changed at all, sticking with my tried and true products, starting with the ABH Dip Brow in the shade Granite. I have three eyeliners that I'm working on finishing up. I have a black eyeliner from Givenchy, I have a black eyeliner from Milani, and then I have a black eyeliner from Stila. This one's a mini right down here. I'm actually super impressed with the Stila eyeliner more so than I thought I would be. The Milani is drying out fairly quickly, not a huge fan. The Givenchy is really, really nice, but it can clump up, and I feel like I get too much liner on the brush that they have, so sometimes my looks can be ruined if I just make one wrong movement with it. So, so far, the Stila is winning. <laughs> this would not be a makeup basket of mine if I did not have my NYX Glitter Glue. It's, it's literally here. It lives here. For brow gel, I'm finishing up this Pixie Clear Brow Gel. I really hate the way that it looks <laughs> with the clear packaging, but I'm actually about like halfway through with it. I think it's almost done. I really am struggling trying to get to the bottom of this container since the brush only goes this far. So I don't know how to get the rest of that gel out, like struggling, but I do want to finish this up hopefully this month. I was walking around CVS a little while ago when I found this mascara from Revlon that I have not heard anything about. This is called the Volumazing Mascara. I have just opened it for the first time and the brush actually looks really, really promising. So I do want to test this out and see how I like it. Next, I finally opened up my full size of the Chantecai Mascara. It's called like the Faux Sills Mascara. I can never really pronounce it right. but. I absolutely loved the mini. The full size was way too expensive for a mascara, but since I have it, I'm gonna get my full use out of it. Last but not least, I picked out the NARS Climax Mascara in my last Bite Size Reviews video, and I've been testing this out, and quite honestly, I've been really, really impressed. Very impressed. So that's everything for my February makeup basket. Let me know down below what products you're going to be using in February. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this monthly series. I hope you guys have an awesome February and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.